Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Judgment Apocalypse Survival Simulation. I have played for a while now off camera, just trying to progress the story. There's a lot of things happening that aren't too exciting because I'm mainly just harvesting resources and uh, just growing the base. But we are coming to a pivotal point here because we're about to get all the aloe vera we need to be able to continue advancing the story. In fact, we've got two fields here, four fields total, but two that are ready to be harvested building more wood, harvesting lots of aluminum. The aluminum harvesting has been absolutely crucial to us because I've used it to trade for a lot of things. One of those things being a minigun. So Anne down here has a minigun. It cost me like 13,000 scrap. It was super, actually 12,800. You can see right there, it was super expensive. But look at that damage per second. It doesn't have a lot of range, but holy hell is this thing a beast and actually I'd love to be able to somehow give her something to increase range maybe eventually I'll find something for that but if you take a look actually at her damage per second she does 102 damage per second that's the highest I've ever seen uh she's really really powerful right now but she's squishy her I mean her health's 176 it's up there but she's still kind of squishy so I've got because she gets all these bonuses right so it's it's a <laughs> It's a rare firearms with automatic weapons tag, but she's a machine gunner. So she gets damage increase plus a cover of efficiency. Then she's already got the automatic weapons ones here for attack speed and damage, attack speed and damage, attack speed and damage. I mean, she's really up there. She's nimble. So she's got some movement speed here because this does hurt movement speed. It does hurt evasion, but she's got a cover efficiency bonus. She's a bodybuilder, so she gets max health, max energy, max nutrition. She's really, really good. So I'm actually going to work on her stalwart now, make her really, really beefy in terms of health, and then start working on resilient for armor, melee defense, and evasion bonuses. And will end up being a powerhouse if we can keep her alive. I've also gone and collected four research data. I actually got lucky and got two research data from one site and then went and grabbed some other ones. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves the titanium production as soon as we have it here in a second so we can start working on the nxra vests which i think are going to be really useful for everybody to be wearing and then we can sell the mercurial armor for a nice little profit as well as people come by and then i'm actually going to go for soul crystals because i want to get that infused soul crystal it'll actually keep people alive grants the owner protection from death which could be really useful to forgive it to people like Anne, who are super beefy and Richard, who is like another tanky person, and then going, being able to get these rituals here because we get the stone circle, which gives us these rune of protection, rune of power, divine inspiration for a work speed bonus, heal the land, which improve, improves relations with neighbors, which I'd like to do because when our neighbors attack us, it really, really hurts. So a lot of these would be really useful until we eventually get down here to things like rally, whether or not I'm even going to do that. Over here, I haven't advanced a whole lot, so I haven't seen anything here that really caught my attention. I don't have a lot of people who can wear dark armor or holy armor, so I'm kind of just letting this over here do its thing for now. Maybe eventually we get somebody that can use those weapons. I want to get machines as well, um, just to keep advancing this, mainly so I can get down to the crystal guard. Really, really good armor, but again, a rare holy armor. I could give it to Maggie if I get down there, but uh, that that's a ways away. So definitely working on weapons as well, because if I get the MTAR, then I can start giving that to everybody. Plus the guided sniper would be even better, I believe, than our 50 cal. It's got a little bit more attack speed, more damage, I believe more damage. It actually does not have more damage, but more attack speed, more range, more accuracy, more damage per second so it's still useful and then eventually the acid gun to the beam cannon i guess they're pretty good weapons but yeah so i'm basically just waiting for research to tick up we're getting ready to make that blood ruby here any second to continue the mission which is the main reason why i jumped into this and we've got an attack coming in maggie doing the minus 20 percent to the attack but whether or not she's going to get it in time that's kind of the Answer in everybody's mind right now, or the question in everybody's mind, because I don't know if she's going to do it. I don't know if she's going to pull it off. Now, I've got the Philosopher's Stone here, which I realized I hadn't built one, so we're going to set it up in this crafting area. Um, 
I'm harvesting stone. How am I? I'm pretty good on wood. I need clay and I need stone. I've been using all my stone and clay for bricks because I've been super behind on bricks for whatever reason. So I'm just trying to quarry all the stone I can on the map before I go back to harvesting all the aluminum for trading. And I don't know, boy, I think Maggie's going to pull this off before the attack comes in. These assistant needed always fire when I got attacks too. And I mean, always. I haven't gotten anybody else really in the colony yet. I don't have any armor for these two to wear. So it is what it is right now. But yeah, Maggie's actually going to pull that off. Sweet. So that'll help us out some. And they're harvesting the aloe vera. We just got it at the last second. Oh, we need arcane scrolls. I just used them. But we can make arcane scrolls. That's the lucky thing. Out of aether and minerals. But we can make them. Let's set it to automatic crafting. Let's at least have, I don't know, 15 on hand with a minimum of 5. We're not using them a whole lot just to do the protection and stuff. I think we get them from killing certain things. So, Reven, I'm pretty sure that's not where I told you to go. And by pretty sure, I'm, I'm positive. Okay, so we've got some lich. We also got some things we haven't seen before coming in. Well, actually, we might have saw those. Yeah, so we're getting attacked by stronger and stronger people. A lot of them here, actually, but let's see how we do. Where is Anne? It's pretty important that she's ready to go. Ah, the, the mine's here. That's what's screwing everybody up. But Anne's right here in the front, so she should be able to put down some serious damage. I'm actually going to have her target this. And she's getting hit pretty hard. So we're going to go in for a heal and actually pull her out of here because she's really taking a lot of the damage. And drop a grenade here. Because we don't want to lose her. I said she's pretty good. We'll take the coup out of here. I've gotten a lot better at just pulling people out as they take more and more damage. Dropping more grenades. Everybody else is still really good on health. We got people leveling up. Who is it? Richard leveling up. Perfect. So we ended up uh, giving him protection, making him really beefy. Now we're either going for resilient or evasion. Um, if we do this, we can get dirty fighting for armor piercing. Or we go for evasion and then cover efficiency bonus. Let's go for Resilient. I can actually grab two of those for a nice armor bonus of 6.8 on him. So he'll absorb a little bit more damage. And we still want to be careful. Who do I got with grenades that can kind of move up? Let's get Elijah up here and Deborah. Oh my god, I lost the coup. He didn't freaking make it. You've got to be kidding me. Oh man, the coup was really good. I know he was. I don't 100% know what he did. I just know he was good. Let's use protect on Richard just to make sure because he's uh, taking all these shots right now. Deborah's taking some hits, but she's going to make it out. And there we go. So we did lose the coup. Man, that's a shame. I really thought he had gotten away. All right. Well, you, know, you win some, you lose some. He wasn't in the task force, right? No. We do have assistance nearby. Actually, really easy. So we could replace the coup. Our group is pretty damaged, though. Uh, we won't take the chance. We've still got a lot of people here, so... We're going to be okay for a bit. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we got the Arcane Scrolls we're waiting for. So as soon as we get those, we'll uh, get this set up. And ready. Meanwhile, hurting for clay and stone still. It's always clay and stone. I'll go ahead and queue some of that up. We're going to locate clay deposits because there's actually not a whole lot on the map anymore. I've been burning right through them. How close are we to research? For rituals, we're right there. So we're going to grab that here soon. 
Their titanium armor. We're also right there. We're going to be able to grab both of these here in a minute. That makes me really happy. And then if I get more traders, I'll just keep doing that as well. Another level up. Sarah, who's been an, a crafting person. I guess we can work on maybe mining for her when she's not crafting. She's got two skill points to spend. Oh, she does rituals. She could do occult research. But yeah, when she's not crafting, let's have her help with mining. I could always use more mining. And I don't have a whole lot of people with mining speed increase. I've got all these diamonds and minerals and stuff. The diamonds I could actually maybe sell for a nice profit. Where are arcane scrolls made and who can make them? I'm figuring a workbench. That's an alchemy table. Relationships being improved. I don't know why. What do we got here? An incinerator. Uncommon. A rocket suit. I think that's like the best armor in the game. Rocket boost. Duration 30. Movement speed plus 100%. So if you wanted to get somebody out of a tight uh, pinch, you could. It's uncommon. I think we can get it eventually. There is more research data. I don't know if I need it. If I get the ancient manuscripts here, I will buy that. It'll actually give me what I need to keep advancing. Let me go into research real quick. I think the rocket suit's down here. It is, but it's all the way at the bottom. We're a ways away from getting that. It could be useful to give it to somebody. All right, so when we spend that, we should have what we need. What was the other thing? Do I need another, do I need more research data? Because they have one of those. If I don't have to go get it, I've got four of them now. That takes a research tips chip, so we're done with that. That takes two research data if I want to progress it. I don't think I do. Um, so I might need it because I've got machines here that I need to eventually get moving to get the force field, which I don't even know if I'll use that. But it looks like this will only take one. It looks like I will need it if I want to buy it. And I think I do. I should have a lot of aluminum to trade. Oh, I don't. I haven't actually gotten that much aluminum. I've got armor for, from uh, Deku. Oh, I forgot I got the self-help book too. Um, well, the armor is going to go to one of them. So I'm not going to trade that. I could get rid of the Sterling SMG. I don't have anybody that can use rare firearms right now. I might eventually, but by that point, we'll probably have better weapons. I'm going to keep the snipers, the assault rifles. I need to give these to some people here who could use them. I'll get rid of some of the aluminum. Oh, that was not some of the aluminum. I'll get rid of 28 of the aluminum. Keeping the aether. Herbs are really great for getting rid of because I have so many of them. Aloe vera is actually worth a decent amount too, but I'm going to be using it here in a minute. The mechanized plates. I feel like we're getting away from a lot of that. I don't know if I'm going to have anybody that can use that anytime soon. Diamonds. They're worth a lot and they're rare. I could definitely trade some diamonds to get that. Let's do that. And the force field targets self, duration 25, evasion plus 20, armor plus 50%. The force field's good, but I'll make my own when the time comes. Yeah, and I want the ancient manuscript. Okay. So I grabbed that self-help book. I was actually going to use that on Richard. Um, it's not going to make him level up though. What about Anne? Would she level up? She'd be closer to leveling up and closer to getting a stalwart. If I get it for Richard, he's just going to get a little bit more resilient. We have a couple other people, but nobody's really ready to level up. Tromaine would level up from it. Just working on his marksmanship, though, just making him more accurate. And then increasing his range with Bull's Eye.
Actually, if I worked on his automatic weapons and got him rare firearms and gave him the well, maybe not. I was gonna say gave him this the, the uh, mini gun. He'd be he'd have a lot more range with it. But who else is in our group? Grace. She would definitely level up from it. Then she could equip rare tech weapons or rare tech armor. I could give him the tech armor we got. It's not actually better. And actually, now that I think about it, should be sold. It was good at one point. It's not really good now. So the only thing I would do is maybe get rare tech weapons, and I don't have any. But I could give her Bertha's or make one. I also want to work on her health and everything. Who else is in my group? Sep. He would be very close to leveling up. He's got a lot of damage, quick shot. It would be nice to start working on his marksmanship or even get his health up choices choices am i right uh let's give it to ann she's like a powerhouse right now i think she's gonna be pretty useful using it so there we go she'll level up here shortly and we've also got what we need to get the ritual i believe yep so we'll go ahead and do that. Now I can't uh, advance any of this, but I can build the relic quarry or whatever that is. All right. Take some scrolls, some diamonds, some glass. I think we'll go ahead and put this inside this building or... I can't go in there, so this building it is. And... Oh crap, it took my arcane scrolls, but I'm making more of them right now as we speak. All right, so we'll have them here in a second. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and perform that. Maggie or somebody will get on that. Looks like Maggie's going to be the one to do it. Aloe vera will be worth a lot once we start getting a bunch of that. And we can spend some of our scrap and gunpowder to open this box. And we got ourselves some surgeon kits. Those are awesome. But it consumes the item once you use it. So I am going to give the surgeon kits to our task force. Again, the item will be consumed after they use it. Does it is this not consumed? This is consumed as well, but they've had it forever. Is that a buck? I don't even know. Or they just keep grabbing it? I don't even know. Um... So let's manage the group real quick so we can swap these for the surgeon bags. Definitely going to be more useful on this crew. Now, the 100% heal chance does always seem a little silly um, for me because they never ever, nobody ever has 100% like ready to go, but whatever. We'll save the extras for replenishing. Let's approve that. All right, now just getting the titanium armor. Let's move on to that real quick. I think we're ready. Titanium production, we'll grab that up. Titanium protection, there's actually an armor here. It's a rare tech armor. Who was it that I just said could get tech armor and then I was like, meh, I don't even remember. I gave it to Anne anyways. Okay, so we could give that tech armor to somebody eventually. That would be pretty nice. It's really, really good. And then the bunker. Survivors inside will be more efficient defending the colony. Can only be occupied during combat with survivors with ranged weapons. Cover 60, bonus cover 100, bonus range plus 3. Hell yeah. I will replace my towers with that when the time comes. Okay, titanium and the NXRA vest. So what is it? You have to craft titanium? Is that what I'm missing here? Oh my god, it fucking takes metal, aloe vera, and aluminum. You've got to be kidding me. Well, here's the deal. Aloe vera and aluminum, that's fine. Metal? No idea. Resources using crafting recipes. Gather limits. I don't know where I can get. I've got metal here, but that I guess I'm just going to convert it all into titanium over time. Hopefully it's enough to make armor for everybody. Let's consider a max of 
50 with a min of 40 for now. And then let's take a look at the armor. Also, I've got to make another... I need obsidian because i got to make another railgun, I think. At some point. Alright, so the armor's right here. Okay, it only takes six titanium. That's not too bad. It does take composites and oil, though. Let's at least, at least make one of them for now. There's also this holy armor. Is that better than the saint's armor? No. That's actually one of the best armors against demons. And oil. Where? What makes oil and how do we make it? Herbs and wheat. Let's go ahead and auto craft with uh, 12 and 6. I don't want to keep too much of it on hand, but that'll at least keep that going. Because we've got the herb gardens here anyways. And I guess a bunch of stone. How are we on everything else? Still low on stone, no clay, low on wood. Alright. Let's keep things rolling. Let's locate a few more clay deposits. Let's chop down a whole bunch of trees here. As well as continuing to plant trees. In areas where we know we can use it. What do we got here? So we can infuse a crystal with the power of a soul, granting its owner protection from death. I'd like to do that, I think. Give it to Anne or something. Heck, I'd love my whole task force to have that, really, but then we need doctor's bags and stuff, so kind of a toss-up, right? Oh, I did have some armor. Let's give that to Max. And I did have some assault weapons. So let's swap those out. You're an artisan, crafting, mining. Yep, I'm fine with that. Max is a scout. I'm fine with that. Mariah's an engineer. She's focusing on research. So everybody here is, you know, doing pretty important stuff. I don't think I need to mutate soul on anybody. I'm about to be out of metal, though. So then I've got to either trade for it or roll with it. I can't trade for a lot of this stuff, like the metals and everything, to make titanium. Because I'm getting a lot of aloe vera I'll be able to trade here soon. I feel I'm going to actually do a whole nother farm of it. Or a whole nother row of it for trading purposes. I think it's worth a lot. And herbs, which I just keep harvesting and, and not really using a whole lot of. Where is the aloe vera? Jesus, did we use it all? I guess we did. I did make the vest. All right, that vest is going to Anne. So let's see. 130 to 160. 50 from 40. 9 from 8. Hell yeah. 216 health. We'll give the next one to Richard as soon as I can craft it. So all that mercurial armor now can be sold. Oh, I can craft it. I got to get more composites, though. Wait, I can craft composites. I know that for a fact. Also taking metals. Ugh, it takes resin. We're all out of resin. We could trade for resin. All right. Yeah, once we don't need any more of that armor, we'll deal with that. All right, we've almost got the blood. Stone. Where's Maggie? Or Esther, whoever. I just want somebody to work on this. Holy crap, you're still using the Kevlar vest. Okay. Wow, Timmy is too. All right, we got to remember that. We have got to remember that. Diamonds, minerals over here. I've got tons of diamonds, so I'm probably going to sell some. Maybe. I don't know. For metal, probably. And I better start mining some more aluminum. To keep that going. Okay, in addition to the occult research excitement, your scientists have used the information gathered from the occult generator to devise their own plan for ending the demon plague. They believe that the Hellgate is composed of dark matter and that the use of antimatter to destroy the portal might be possible. The occult team has, propo uh, has protested that antimatter is potentially catastrophic, but nonetheless, the scientists have prepared an experiment to cause an explosion and measure the amount of antimatter produced. They are certain they are on the right track, as the documents found at the lab show that the military program had planned to create their own antimatter containment device as a precaution against any rifts that might occur. Create an antimatter detonator. 
That must be here. I need 10 acid and some composites and aluminum. I can make that. Well, I don't have the acid. I could trade for the acid, but the research, I believe acid is... Crap. Wait, where is acid? Must be under weapons. I'm obviously losing my mind. It must be under base. Acid extraction. Oh, we already have it. We just need to get to it. How much is acid worth? It's worth a lot. It takes aloe vera and oil. So I'm going to have to up my aloe vera and oil production. That's fairly obvious. I didn't realize that they were going to be uh, that useful. So that'll burn up a lot of my herbs and wheat, which I don't have a lot of. Um, so let's up that to 50 and 40. Uh, maybe I want to expand the wheat farm or make additional wheat farms. I don't know. Um, I definitely know I want to keep more aloe vera coming in, but I'll just wait for these to... You know what? Here's what I'll do. I actually could do this. Oh, that takes wheat, of course. All right. Assistance required. What do we got? Somebody worth getting? Yeah, probably. All right. Let's give it a shot. Our group's pretty well... Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Before I do that, recall... I want to do something. I want to do something. I want to see, did we get that armor? No. Okay. I was going to do the armor real quick for Richard, but we didn't get it. Okay. Let's move back in and let's give this a shot. Okay. So the right over there, uh, two fallen angels, which we will have to be careful of. The cage is right here, which is good. Okay, we've got another group coming in. I don't want to hit both at the same time. So let's just get here on this uh, pile of crap because that actually usually is the best. And let's definitely get Sep in the back, Richard in the front. Tremaine and Maggie. And let's have the snipers give us a shot on this fallen angel. Perfect. So now just focusing on the Legion should be easy. And here just, yeah, <laughs> doing what Anne does best. All right. Now we've got another group of fallen angels. Let's get ready to snipe them. I'll have Tremaine and Seth focus on, oh, there they go. They can focus on the other one. Anne's taking some of the damage, but easy as that let's form up here on this junk pile for cover Tremaine is our cage opener so let's send him down to open it let's hope we get somebody good okay coming from the other direction so I'm gonna swap um, Shep and Ann actually Grace and Ann we'll just leave Shep where he is Actually, not that bad of an attack, really. And the retreat's right here, which is good. Maggie's taking it pretty good. She's got rituals, occult ritual, evasion. Maggie, though, is really not, in the grand scheme of things, she's really actually not that good. I keep her here for the blessing and because she's got the good armor. But at some point, there's a possibility I might throw her out and replace her with somebody else. Um, unless I go for holy weapons, because then... Well, it still doesn't help me, but if I go for holy weapons, she might do more. I mean, she still does good DPS. All right, so Stacy, a priestess. She's devout. She's a meat lover. Okay, I'm going to re-roll her. Until I get, I don't know, something. I don't know what yet. Let's get out of here. Either way, our group did an excellent job. Probably have an attack coming as soon as we're leaving. Yep. But luckily, nowhere near us, so we will make the escape. Holy hell. I think it was moving quick, though. And we will recall the group. Lots of experience gained, especially from Anne, who will hopefully level up here soon, especially because I gave her that 1,000 XP. 
and we can keep her stalwart going up. All right, so the group is coming home. And let's go ahead and have Stacy do a mutate soul here. We'll get ourselves a reroll. Did we make that armor yet? I think so. Oh, well, we did make it. And Mariah's leveling up. She's an engineer. Work speed. Rare tech armor, rare tech weapons. I could give her a tech weapon. The work speed would be nice. She's got quarrying, and when she's not researching, she could be quarrying. She's going to be kind of rare. All right, let's give her the self-learning. Holy hell, is that Anne? Nope. Okay, so she ended up getting rituals now to put her on occult research. I definitely need more occult research coming in. So I can get some of those other rituals and another trader. Wow, there's a lot of things happening right now. Okay. Demonite armor, not really that great. Reset skills, but I don't really need that. I don't think. The acid dart gun. Okay, so nothing here really that catches my attention. They've got Elevera. I'm not going to trade for that because I'm producing it. They don't have metal, which is probably the only thing I would have bought. The explosive gun's kind of cool. Damage 50. It's a pistol. It's got splash range, splash damage. I'm ways away from being able to get that anyways. Let's get rid of the Uzis and the elemental bomb. I haven't used those in a while. Hmm. I'm not producing as much aluminum, and especially because I'm using it. Let's get rid of some of our... Oh, Jesus. Not all of our diamond, but some of our diamond. Damn, diamond is worth a lot. So we'll do that just to basically get most, if not all, of his scrap. Because we can. We'll sell some of the demonite too, because I've been getting that. Hides. I haven't really been using a lot of that stuff. So we can sell some hides too. All right, I've got most of his uh, stuff here. We'll just take the rest of it, or at least down to there. Perfect. All right, we can harvest more of this because I actually like to harvest that just even just for trading purposes. And it's going to be a while before we get that. Okay, I've got that armor. I'm going to give that to Richard. What's that going to do for his health? Richard's going to be really up there. 172. 212. Actually, not as high as... I don't think as high as Anne. 212 to Anne's 216. I think it's because he's a bodybuilder, actually. So Stalwart's really going to make a difference. All right, I know I need more clay still. And I know I need more stone, so I'll just go move right down that line. I do need to plant more trees. So let's get all of those planted, and let's chop down these trees here. Just keeping everybody moving. The survivalist, Kyle, we're working on his health, which is why I was almost thinking, like, swap maybe Maggie down for somebody like this, but... I need to make another assault rifle. I've got people who don't... Well, actually, I'll just wait for the MTAR now. Yeah. Yeah, I will just wait. We should have more composites coming in. I'm not too worried about that. I... Plenty of wood. I do want to get more aluminum. So I guess let's have them get these four aluminum. Once we're done with all the clay. 
And then I just need glass for that. And I can't produce glass yet. I think that's under... Uh... Glass working. Obviously. How about rituals? Still a ways away from the stone circle. I could go for divine inspiration, but... I think I'll just pick up stone circle. Heal the land would be useful. Oh, perfect. 600 freaking research. Like... Hell yeah. I'll take it. Acid, 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 acid. Oh, that's actually hunger rate minus 10%. I need to get that. Oh, do I grab that or do I wait for the acid extraction? I don't even know what the companion farm does. Crop rotation of vegetables, wheat, and herbs allows for more efficient farming. Well, yeah. Plus the minus 10 hungering rate. Damn, that would be useful. Definitely more efficient farming. I could probably get rid of a whole roll of vegetable farms and have those cycle out. Or something. Damn. And I think I've got almost enough of these for every person. So maybe I'll put like a group of farms here instead of another one. Let's see. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And I've got what? 1, 2, 3. Is there a better way to see this? There's got to be a better way to see. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, so if I get more people, I might need it. If I get more people. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to. I'll have to wait and see. So maybe I won't build any farms there just yet. But I do know I want more aloe vera. All right, so I'm going to leave it off here since we're out of time. I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.